Now at district, so he's gonna tell you about education, how to get into education, how to move up. Make sure you guys ask questions. Okay, and welcome him. All right, hey, before, before he gets going, um, I think these are, are just for you guys. Some of your teachers will give you extra credit. Um, hopefully you talk to your teachers about that. Um, so this is just fill out your name, uh, Mr. Rich on the, on the presenter, and the date, and then take it to your teacher. All right, that's what that's for, okay? All right, Mr. Rich, everybody. Awesome, can everybody hear me okay? Please keep eating. I know you only get a limited amount of time, so eat. Go. I know some of you are like, you didn't have to tell me that, but go ahead and eat. So today I'm going to talk to you about taking a hike. How many of you uh, like to hike, like to go in the wilderness? One of my absolute favorite things to do, whoops, here we go, is go backpacking. I love to backpack. Uh, I love to put everything in, walk away for a couple of days, go in the wilderness. I love it. Absolutely enjoy it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as a metaphor. Help me out. Who can tell me what a metaphor is? A metaphor is like, like there's something that can like represent something else. If you like, can I That's a great example. We're gonna use the metaphor of a hike to talk about your journey and what you're gonna do outside of school. You okay with that? So I'm gonna use this parallel, and this is my son. So I don't know how many of you. Uh, COVID's been kind of weird. Uh, this is Andrew. Andrew graduated from Davis High School last year. And this is him two weeks ago as I dropped him off at college at UC Irvine. And uh, right after this picture, we had, we had spent a couple of days getting him moved into his dorm and everything. And then right after this picture, I said, all right, see you later. And he said, oh, you're not going to walk with me? No, no, you got it. And he walks about 10 feet. He turns around and he says, I, I don't know where I'm going. Right? So big campus, didn't know where I was going. I said, walk that way until you find where you live. And I got in the car and I drove away. Okay? So his journey to UC Irvine, his hike, his backpacking trip, did it start two weeks ago? When did it start? Four years ago. Four years ago? Maybe born. A long time ago. How about the Greek three a long time ago? You can't be thinking about college. Uh, you have to start sometime. So if you've never started thinking about it, think now. And it doesn't have to be college. It could be anything. You can go and be a welder or a mechanic or whatever. So I'm going I'm to share a little bit about that. So in order to prepare for a hike, these are things I have to do. Right? I have to, uh, I have to uh, kind of research where I'm going. I've got to get my proper gear. We're going to talk about each one of these. I've got to look for a route. I gotta find a partner. Whoops. Why would finding a partner be important? We're gonna talk about that. If I get lost, then we're both lost together. Somebody need to push me a little bit harder to try. Okay? And then I gotta make adjustments along the way. So let's talk about how I do research. When I go on a hike, there's this app that I use. It's called the oh here's it. Lots of seats up here. Come on up here. Lots of seats. Come on up. Lots of seats. I'll be walking around, so don't feel like you're right in the front. I mean, you are in the front, but nobody will know because, well, now I told them. So now it has to be the front. You're right in front. Uh, I like to use this, this app called the All Trails app. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, Adrian. Or Miss, sorry, Miss Mappet. Miss M, yeah. Oh, Miss M, sorry. Um, I like to use it because it has a bunch of different trails. People tell me all about their trip. I like to use this. It's a great resource. Anybody ever looked at the All Trails app before if you go hiking? It's a really fun. If you just even if you're just looking for somewhere around town. All right. What about you? How do you again metaphor your hike, your journey? How do you research where you want to go in life? Google. Google. Honestly, it's a great resource, right? Usually, actually, probably where everybody starts, right? Where else? How else do you research? Talking to a counselor? I was going to say that you can reach out to make connections to certain places. Connections, like uh, somebody who's maybe been through that trail before. That's one of the nice things about the All Trails app, is people say, oh, I did this. Here's what it was like. Here's what, uh, uh, here's what I found along the way, right? What are other, other people in your life that you have that you can go to for your journey? Okay. Parents? You're going to say the same thing? Grandma, grandpa, neighbor, 
older siblings. Maybe you have a pasture. Maybe you have a, maybe you have a, 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 a trusted, you know, a neighbor that's been through something. You have to decide. You have to decide where you want to go. That's the first thing. So tell me some of where you want to go. What What are some of your aspirations after school? What are we looking to do? Cardiology. Cardiology. Probably a cardiologist, right? Be a, be a cardiologist, a heart doctor. Who so wants to be an actress? Okay. Say it again. Offer. 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 Author. Oh, that's okay. Author. I apologize. Plus the mask, and I'm hard of hearing, so I apologize. Wants to be an author. What a great adventure that would be. Be a teacher. A psychologist. An actuary. Anybody know what an actuary is? An actuary is the guy that sits, or the lady, who sits at a desk and decides, um, it's going to cost you $120 every month to insure you. Right? They, they set insurance rates, and they actually get paid very, very well. So I'm assuming you're very good at math. Okay. Any other thing, anything else out there you want to be? Nursing. That's my daughter, my older daughter, who probably none of you would know, graduated Davis several years ago and is studying nursing right now. A vet, a veterinarian. What else? Business. Sit again. Real estate. Okay. Lots of these. This is all great journeys. You got to research to get there. You're not going to get there just by saying you're going to get there. You got to do some research. Okay. And we've already identified some of the places you can go to find things out. All right. Next on my trip, I got to have proper gear. What would happen if I went on a, um, I don't know, a 50 mile backpacking trip? Was just like a school backpack. How well would that go? Not well. Why not well? Why would that not go well? Wow. Not prepared? Bears come along. I don't have enough food. I, uh, I need a tent. My shoes get destroyed. All of these things have happened to me before, right? You have to have the right gear. Now, in this metaphor, this analogy, uh, what gear do you need for your destination? Vet nurse, cardiologist, author, actress, actuary. What are the, what's the gear that you guys have to have? Proper schooling. Okay, schooling. Man, you gotta, uh, next time I'm gonna call you first, because they keep stealing yours. My best friend, steals it from me. Schooling obviously is important, right? We're here. What else, what other gear do you need? And it could be a metaphorical gear. Motivation. You need some motivation, right? You need some drive to get to where you wanna go, okay? Back table, I haven't heard a lot from you guys. Gonna stare me down. I used to teach algebra here. They're eating. They're eating. Oh, they're eating, okay. I'll come back to them when they're not eating. What about over here? Also eating. All right. Uh, sorry, I heard something else over here. Hard work, motivation. Uh, I gotta tell you, I talked to a lot of teachers in my current job and they're all, all really worried. They're really worried that right now, because of what you've had to go through, you're not at the level of motivation and hard work as a whole, I don't know you individually, as a whole, that we would like you to be at. Do you feel that? Do you feel like, oh, I'm not really as motivated as I was, because I know I haven't been really at school for a while, it's kind of tough to get back in the groove. You gotta find that motivation, right? No one's gonna find it for you, you gotta do it. No one's gonna carry my gear for me when I go backpack, right? I have to carry that. I have to figure that out. One of the really important gears you, or piece of gear you need is a transcript. So a transcript is what, basically the only thing you take away from this school. It is the piece of paper that says, here's the classes you took. And if you want to be an actuary, there are certain classes you should probably be taking. If you want to be an actress or an author, or a businessman, right? There's some classes you should be taking, depending on where you want to go, right? So we've got the, the, the CSUs listed over here, California State University. We've got the University of California. They require certain classes, MJC. You're going to need certain classes. So make sure you're talking to and researching about what classes you need to make sure you're getting them. All right, I can't just go on a backpacking trip without a map. What would happen? Bear food, right there, right? I would be bear food. It's not gonna happen. You gotta have a map. You gotta have a route. You gotta know where you're going. Okay, how does that metaphor 
roll over to you. You need a plan, right? Say it again, sorry. You gotta know where you wanna go, whether it's a college or it's a trade school or it's into a, a labor field, wherever you wanna go. You gotta know where you wanna go. Who's in charge of that plan? I am? I'm not in charge of your plan. Don't put me in charge of your plan, I'm a cardiologist. Oh, yourself, okay. Uh, yourself, you're in charge of that plan. How are you gonna make that plan? Write it down would be a great step, right? I think, go ahead. I was gonna say talk to your college yeah, you got like three people right here in this whole office that, that can help you with that, right? What else? You, you got to be motivated to that plan, right? You got to have someone who's going to help you with that plan, hold you accountable. My son uh, wants to be a computer programmer. That's what he wants to do, a, a software engineer. Okay? He wants to go to UC Irvine, that's where he's at, because that's a really good school for him. Uh, he needs a lot of math classes, right? And he's a pretty, he's a pretty smart fellow in math. Well, he didn't like really try his hardest on his plan over the last year and a half because of COVID. We didn't pass the AP classes that he needed to, the test rather, that he needed to, to so he's got to retake those in school. His plans just delayed a little bit. Had he put a little bit of motivation and effort, he, he would, he'd be further along in his plan, right? So be thinking about that. Don't let that tear you down. You need a partner. Here's my partner. And this is our dog who thinks she's funny. Uh, that's my partner right there. He's a, he's a fifth grader over at Everett right now. That's my other son. And, uh, and that's why I didn't have hair. So during COVID, I was like, screw it. I'm not getting hair cut. I'm just going to shave it all off. But he goes backpacking with me. This is the thing. He's, he's been on about, I don't know, four or five backpack trips with me. We've gone about 70 miles together. Uh, all in, you know, you add them all up. You gotta have somebody who's gonna motivate you. And as I'm doing research, and as I'm looking at my gear, Ben's the one that's helping me out. He's the one that's getting me there. Who are you gonna ask for help in your planning? We kind of talked a lot about options, right? But be thinking about that, right? I don't care what you wanna do after this, just have a plan. Just have a plan, okay? You gotta make adjustments along the way. So. Anybody know what this is right here? Is that the USA? What is it? It's not necessarily the trailhead, but the trail marker. You guys ever been hiking and there's some trails, that, there's some markers that say, hey, this is the direction you go. So this, this trail marker is at um, uh, Pinecrest. You guys ever hiked around the lake at Pinecrest? This is one of the trail markers. And at Pinecrest, the trail, it's a little, kind of like in your life, where you can't see it. You can't see the trail because it's on granite. There is no trail. So these trail markers help show you like, hey, this is the direction you go. Now, I took this picture because they, somebody just chased it, right? Somebody said, oh, I don't have enough respect for this trail, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna show people how cool I am. Sometimes along the way, People are gonna. People are gonna be mad about your trail. People aren't gonna believe in you. People aren't gonna think it's as important as you think it is. And you can't let them do that. If the trail's important to you, you gotta keep it up. You gotta find that motivation, right, to make it yours. And you gotta keep going. What might be obstacles for your plan to be a cardiologist or an author or an actress or an actuary? What uh, what are obstacles that are going to get in your way? Money. Money. Money's going to be a huge obstacle. Yeah. What else? Time. Keeping up with the work. Hateful people. Hateful people. The haters. Yeah, they're going to say, talk about haters. Uh, if you have a plan, those obstacles are a lot easier to overcome. Don't let money be the obstacle for you to go to school. There are plenty of opportunities for you to receive scholarships and grants and extra funding to go to school. Don't let that be an option or an uh, option. Okay, you can do it. Get a job. My son, who you saw here, I'm not paying for his school. I'm not paying for that. He, he's gonna pay for it. He worked all summer, had a great job, actually working for the district. We'll talk about that in a second. A great job working for the district. 
making $22 an hour. And he earned uh, probably about seven grand over the summer to help pay for it. He got scholarships, right? He's gonna get a job at school. Don't let money be the option. You can overcome that. That's no big deal. Okay? But don't let the haters, right? Don't let the haters hate. I mean, I know it's really all they do, right? Because haters gonna hate. All right. So what's gonna prepare you for your journey? You got you gotta do research, you gotta have the right gear. You gotta get a route, find someone to help you, and then realize along the way there's gonna be some changes. Okay? I have full confidence that you're gonna be able to do that. Someday, because look at me, I'm gonna need a cardiologist, right? So, someday, these valves are gonna stop working, and I'm gonna look up, and you're gonna like, hey, here I am. And I'm gonna say, I need somebody else. Help me over, okay? Someday, someday it might be quick, yeah. Uh, I, I, I know you can do it. You're going to be amazing. So many great stories coming out of Davis High School of kids that have gone on to success. An amazing amount of success. All right. I want to switch gears a little bit. Oh, i got to turn off that light rotation. Hold on. Okay. There you go. There we go. It was the look. Let me go back. Okay. I'm gonna have you use your phone for a second so you can get those out, okay? My chosen field, my journey, was to be a teacher. And I knew that I wanted to be a teacher in the sixth grade. I knew that I wanted to be a math teacher in the sixth grade. Linda Preston was my math teacher, and she inspired me, and I knew I'm going to be a math teacher. And you're probably thinking, what happened to that dream? She's obviously not a math teacher. Uh, honestly, I still consider myself a math teacher on assignment. I just have other duties right now, but uh, I taught math. I taught math at Davis High School for uh, for about 11 years. I worked at this school for about 17 years. In fact, interesting note, maybe not interesting, this is the first year in 21 years that a member of my family got to come to this school every single day. I know, you're like, what? Nobody cares. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I want you to text to this number, okay? Text that number and text this message. And it's going to add you to a group, okay? It's going to add you to a group. And I want you to just send just individual words, and you can text it as many times as you want. Individual words that you can think of when you think of education. Like, what are jobs available in education? Won't work? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, just meet with a friend and do with a friend. Okay? So it should, you should get a message that says, hey, you're now part of the group. You guys get that message? Okay, now start sending me careers that you think are available in education. I'll start you off with a hard one, teacher. So you, you can text teacher. But I'm gonna give you about two minutes just to kind of think of jobs that you can think of. Think of who you interact with on a daily basis. What are careers available in the education field? Okay, and you can text as many answers as you want. Text as many answers as you want. If, if only one person at the table has a phone, just talk, and you can all do it through one phone. That's okay. It doesn't matter. You don't have the person. Do What's that? I haven't opened the poll? Is that what it said? Yeah. No. Hold on. Okay, now try it. Is it working now? Yes, now it's working. Now it's working. So go ahead and send. 
And again, you don't have to do it individually. You can talk as a group. What are some careers you think of when you think of education? What do you think of math teachers? What do you think of What's that? Yeah, so just give me different jobs. Like different oh, jobs that, that the education field. Right? In education, what are different jobs? What are jobs in education? Uh, uh, what are jobs in education? Uh, uh, so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Check your emails. I process your paperwork. I'll give you another minute. Check your emails. Check your emails. <laughs> Different jobs in education. Oh, I reached the maximum number. Looks like we're done. Here's your answer. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is a word cloud. What happens if words are bigger? More people put that in. These are your answers. If it's bigger, it means lots of people put that word. So teacher, that's a big one, right? Right? <laughs> Nursing, I think some people are thinking just careers in general, which is fine, that's fine, okay? Superintendent, that's a job that I think would be horrible. Yeah, just to say nobody wants. <laughs> That's a rough job right there. Uh, principal, secretary, security, professor. Okay. Uh, do you know how many? I should hear. I think that's the next question. Here. Do you know how many people work for Modesto City Schools? Give me, give me some answers. Shout them out. I can take it. Fifty, ten thousand, a thousand. For Modesto City School. Fifteen hundred. Four thousand. Four hundred twenty-seven. So let me help you out here. We have, we have thirty-four schools in Modesto City Schools. Thirty-four schools. We have a transportation department. We have we got lots. So I actually heard the right answer. Heard the right answer. We have about four thousand employees in Modesto City. Now I also heard I also heard fifteen hundred. Who gave me the word number fifteen hundred? That we have fifteen hundred teachers. Just teachers. So if we have 1,500 teachers, but 4,000 employees, what are those other employees? Counselors are actually considered teachers. They have the same credentials. IT would be an example. Yeah, the tech people. What else? Uh, principal or management in general would be that, right? Management, yeah? What do you think? Custodians, yeah. Security. Bus transportation, right? Bus drivers. Uh, the people that make the lunches. Uh, we call that nutrition services, right? Yeah. Nursing, the nurses. Which, so I want to show you a website. When you think education, I don't want like the career, if you're thinking about going into education, I don't want you to think, oh, I have to be a teacher. There are so many options within the education field to be. And so I want to show you something. This is this is a link to our website from an SOC school. These are these are what we call job descriptions. Right? These are the different types of jobs we can have. Certificated means you went to college to be a teacher. You have a degree in education. Look at all the different types of teachers there are. Look at that. That's just the types of teachers. That's a lot of teachers. Classified. Classified are uh, a group that, that 
aren't teachers, right? So you've got management, classified, and certificated. Tons of options, tons of jobs. Do you know that in Minnesota City Schools, we have full-time carpenters? Carpenters. They, they, they build, they help build things, right? Uh, we have full-time welders. We have full-time painters. We have full-time nutrition services people, dietitians, full-time nurses. That's a great question. Uh, at this point, we do not. But we we used to years ago, and I know they've been discussing that. Yeah. I've heard about it, but like I don't know if I'm wrong, but I heard that there's this thing that you can do. It's kind of like a teacher assistant, and all you need is like a high school diploma. I think it's like a PAR. So there's something called a para. Yeah. Para. A para professional. Uh, or a tutor, we can literally hire you right outside of high school to do those jobs. In um, fact, we're short 60 paras right now in the district. We need 60 people right now. In fact, how about this? You might think school started, you know, we don't need any, you know, everybody's hired. Look at this. Uh, let me come back to this. These are the jobs that we have open in our district, right here in Modesto, right now. Okay? These are the classified jobs. Nutrition services, yard duty, career center technician navigator, what she does, right? We have, look at all these jobs. Right now. These are jobs posted right now. Look at this. We, we are so short on pair professionals that we are offering $1,000 bonus. I'm tired of I'm not kidding. Right? Look at all these jobs. I have no idea what that job does. But we're hiring one of them. Right? There's a lot. Now, guess what? These are just the classified jobs. These are jobs you can do without the without the college degree. Some of them. Look at this. Here's the certificated jobs that are available right now. This is this is a classroom teacher, a math teacher. We need a math teacher right now down in the teacher from 61 to 114 an hour. I guess I'll be a teacher there. Right? We need them right now. There are there are kids with substitutes. Okay? Right now, we're paying our substitute right now $200 a day. If you sub for us more than 30 days, we will now pay $235 a day. Right now. That's $1,000 a week. Oh, wow. Okay? So, here's, here's what I want you to understand. When you think of the career of education, don't think, oh, I have to be a teacher. There are so many other jobs and careers available outside of being a teacher. We employ 4,000 people and only 1,500 of them are teachers. There's a lot of other jobs out there in the field of education. Lots of opportunities. I want to share with you some of the jobs that I have. So I started here at Davis High School in the year 2000 as a math teacher. Uh, during that time, I was also the math department chair. I was a math curriculum coordinator for the district. I was a math coach. Then I became the assistant principal here at Davis High School. Then I was the principal here at Davis High School. So this is 17 years working right here at Davis High School. Then I became the director of innovation. And that was kind of a fun job. We were going one-to-one -one with all the devices. We had done it at Davis, but all the other schools were going to do that. So my job was to help all the schools make that happen. And then lately, I'm a senior director of curriculum and instruction and professional development. So I'm in charge of all curriculum from kindergarten through, through senior year, from math, science, music, PE, health, computer literacy. Do you propose, or like, uh, like do you propose the curriculum, or do you like, uh, like accept it? Like, do you I oversee all of it. So if there's issues, or when we need new textbooks, right, we just adopted a bunch of new textbooks for science and math over the last couple of years, that would have been me, right? 
So all of that, all of that happens within the district. There are a ton of jobs, a ton of jobs. So I, I just want you to think, it's whatever your journey takes you, if you're thinking about education, I want you to realize there's a lot of jobs out there that aren't teachers. Not that we don't need teachers. We could use a lot of great teachers. But there's a lot of jobs out there that, that uh, are more than just teaching. We went over that. OK. So let's end with this. Where do you start? Where do you start? Like, what's your journey? How are you going to take that hike? What's the next thing you're going to do? Now, if you don't tell somebody, it's probably never going to happen. So find them at your table and just tell them. Hey, this is what I want to do, and this is what I think my next step is. So tell them. Just talk to them. <laughs> All right, tell me where you're going to start. Give me a couple examples. Okay, what year are you right now? I'm a senior. You should, yes, like right now you should be applying, right? Like the applications are open. October 1st. Tomorrow. 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 You should already be thinking about where you're going to apply, having those essays start right now. Yes. What's that? You don't have to do essays. For first year, you don't have to do essays. Okay. Where else? What else is your next step? Okay. Go to medical school. There's some steps in between there. There's some steps in between. Talk to one of these three right here. Yeah. Take the dual enrollment classes. So my son took the middle college classes here, walked out with 18 college credits. That was one of the reasons he got accepted to UCI, because they could, they've, he's shown that he can already handle a uh, higher level curriculum. Yeah. One more. One more. What's your next step? Graduate. Who said that? you got to graduate. Right? That's the key to the next step right there. Okay? All right. Uh, go ahead. Get good grades. Get good grades. Now, I, I didn't bring enough because I wasn't thinking about this. Okay. If, uh, if you're at all interested or have follow up questions for me, I'm going to leave some business cards with Mr. Wilderman. And it has my email and my phone number on it. Mr. Wilderman also knows how to get a hold of me. Okay? He also knows how to get a hold of me if you want to talk. And I realized, I realized that we did this in English, right? Because that's what most of you speak. But I'm going to keep you here. 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 All right?